Hello and welcome to Bump Love. If you are new here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for content on motherhood, parenting, and journeying through life as a woman. Now we all know that journeying through life as a woman, you are going to face insecurities yeah. about your body, your appearance, your face, and how some of your body features evolve yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. as you grow as a woman. Um, so we want to chat about plastic surgery. Have you ever considered changing the appearance of your face or your body? Do you ever think about the appropriateness of these procedures? Well, welcome to the conversation, an ongoing conversation. We've talked about this before on the show, but we thought let's, let's delve some more into plastic surgery if we have considered it, if we have done it. Spoiler alert, some of us on this panel have actually had plastic surgery. Stick around and find out who. Welcome, ladies. <laughs> thank you. You all are looking fly. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Yeah, because we want them to guess. <laughs> oh, you want them to guess, eh? Yeah. Who has done plastic yeah. surgery? Let them comment <laughs> before yeah, time. Guessing. Yes, please, please comment in the, in the comment section. Let us know who you think has done plastic surgery. And we are going to reveal as we go along. Yeah. You will notice there's a new face on the panel. And uh, hey, Muna. Muna is our co-host for today and she's going to be telling us a bit more about herself as we carry on. But first, ladies, what are your thoughts on plastic surgery in general? <laughs> in my view, enhancing one's appearance is a form of self-love. Oh, okay. A gift that you give to yourself the same way and, and, and a gift you give to yourself because you want to be the best version of yourself, of yourself each and every time. And for me, that comes in both forms of both body and in mind. For example, the same way that you would, um, if you reach a point of self-awareness and you know that I don't like my mindset, my mindset is negative. And for me to be a better version of myself, I need to shift my attitude and make it positive. Yeah. Then you're acknowledging that this is not working for me. Yeah. What can I do? So I'm now looking for the, if there was an injection that could change mindset, we would get we it. Would, most of yeah. us would get it. Absolutely. Yeah. So I look at it for body, I look at it in the same way. So if there's something about your body you're not excited about, first I would like go through my options and what mm. I can or cannot do. For what I cannot do, I would just go to the mirror and affirm myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daily affirmations. <laughs> Daily affirmations and say I am beautifully and wonderfully made. I'm a child of God. I'm the most beautiful creature yeah. in the world because nothing to do. And now yeah. I have to change my mindset. But if it's something I could do about my body, I definitely would. Mm -hmm. And, and, I, and I, I need to say this, that, um, and that's really mostly to feel better about, if I want to feel better about myself, because I'm not happy about the way I look right now. And I want to say this, it's actually been documented in the National Library of Science, of Medicine, that um, women, people generally, who have actually had elective cosmetic surgery, have improved mental health. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And this is mostly because even if appearance, um, your, your body, appearance may be surface, but body image is yeah. significantly and closely tied true. to your emotional well-being. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And this started from, a, and let me tell you how this came about. And I, I found this so fascinating because it made me delink that uh, the theory that ah, plastic surgery, it's for rich people, it's for mm. people who are not happy with themselves, people who don't love their bodies, why are you getting it? So when I, when I read the history about it, this goes as far back as uh, World War II. The biggest mm. advances in plastic surgery were actually made during, yes. and, during and after World War II. And this is because the weaponry that was used then was so largely damaging to the soldiers, to the people. So they would, oh, the survivors would always come back, the wounded soldiers would always come back, and this, they were injured in ways and deconstructed in ways that they had never seen before. Mm. And what the doctors immediately realized at the time was that, 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 that soldiers who were being reconstructed back to normal were not only, their quality of life did not only improve, but also their will to live. To live. Yeah. So they started to see that it was, the, the way they looked, influenced largely their, their, the way they, they, they viewed what would happen to them afterwards. After, so yeah. they started to realize, oh, when, because you now imagine you're walking, you know that your face is going to be disfigured for the rest of your life. So you're there and you're like, now what is this? But if you have hope mm. that, you know what, my face will be put back, so they, they wanted to leave. So as soon as they saw that, they 
poured a lot of resources and time and energy and effort into plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. And then this gave opportunity for wider for varieties people. of cosmetic surgery. Yeah. So nice. I, it's for me, any day if you feel that you can, if you can afford, afford it. it. And yes. also, by the way, that document says that there is the, it's about where to stop. Mm. Like you may, can some people have psychiatric tendencies to move towards a disorder? Yeah. Yes. Of, of, of body dysmorphic, I think mm. body dysmorphic mm. disorder, yeah. where you, you're just never uh, happy or satisfied yeah. with, what, with you what you have. So I think for me, it's just got to be like it's a healthy balance and a yeah. healthy decision for you to just improve the way you look so that you can feel better about yourself. About you. And if you can afford it, why not? Yeah. Why I, not? I think for me, the first time I heard about plastic surgery was when Michael Jackson did it. That's oh. the first time I heard about plastic surgery. That's when I first, you know, understood what. Yeah. surgery is and I think the notion was you know he wasn't happy with himself he did his nose because yes. he wanted to feel better yeah. if you want bigger boobs do them so you feel better if you want a smaller nose do it white. so you feel better so that's when I first thought about <laughs> plastic surgery and my thought towards it was it's for a particular class of people, people. Yeah. it's for the you know the they are well to do the ones that are out there for everyone yes. to see I mean now us you know because I was younger yeah. then like, like, I think we're going to talk about bump love because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he did it, we were younger. Yeah, we were kids. Yeah, yeah. so we're kids. So it's, it's not something I ever thought I would think about doing myself. But um, growing older, I started to see more of people doing plastic surgery, and it wasn't mostly because they don't like how they look. Some were, were, were born with these, you know, this, yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. formality. Someone is born with a. Uh, you know things that are not adding up because you did they didn't like themselves in school they will be you know they will be bullied just and they were born like that there was this chick apparently who she 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 was going to die and then god tells her nkuwa demu samias she said wow yeah everything that is imperfect about me let me do it boobs yeah. But yeah. what? She was walking out of the hospital like this. Wee boo, a can knock her. Yeah. She died. So that she reaches heaven. Nga she's like, but God. You told me you gave me time. Like, hey, you are the one. <laughs> are you the one? Yeah, yeah. You're the one that. Uh, sorry, I hadn't recognized you. Yeah. The Bible is a bit different, but same. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, God, oh, God, it's your daughter, Rosetta Mia. Is that you? <laughs> I don't recognize you. <laughs> Not that you are <laughs> Yeah, I changed my nose up to but it's me. Yeah, this is us. so yeah. Yeah. But um after I, I watched a lot about um plastic surgery, I believe it's it's something if it's to lift your spirit, I think like Pumla said, if you don't love yourself, and I mean we are supposed to live this life fully, authentic lives, if you're not happy, do something about it. So if you're not happy that um you know you're bullied about your nose, you can't change it. Mm. And yeah, hit them. So, yeah. <laughs> I them. I tell you, have the money. Why yeah, you not? Have the money, so do. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm not sure that I am of the view that, you know, like if you don't like something about yourself, unga it's okay. Yeah. Unga, you are nicely breathing through it mm. and whatever. Mm. Now you go. You said now let me change it yeah. because also the way surgery works when I you go there. There is a line, yeah, there is a 50-50, it might come back worse. Now what if it comes back worse? Banana. Now what do you do? You have an ugly nose which is also now not working. And we've seen you know, those. Those, those, Because ultimately, plastic surgery is surgery. It is. Oh, yeah. It is actual surgery. Is. Like you go, you prepare for the surgery, it you is. get onto the bed, you sign yes. a document. That's a different You die. Yeah. You are going to just change the nose. You're just going to change the nose. Just the nose. Believe if you are reverting to factory settings, it's okay. What do I mean? Okay. Like you've had a you've had a baby, the stomach oh. got sucked and it's so you're just I restoring get it. to factory it. settings. Okay. Let's remove the extra excess skin. Let's put it back together. The boobs, when, ah. I, when, when, I, when I got my boobs and they were coming out, they were pucky okay. and nice. And then after the baby, they've pulled. They've fallen, yeah. And now they are fallen and they look, ah, you yes. know, okay. just to revert. So I'm not even, I'm, I'm not the kind who says like plastic surgery, I'm okay with adding 
yeah. implants and whatever. Yeah. No. For me, I'm all for restore okay. Okay. to factory I settings. That's when, uh, because then the, I would understand why you're like, oh, I don't like the way my tummy looks. Because you had the proper, yes. Yes. you had yes. a certain, no, I don't let me not say proper. You had a certain, you had, you already knew what your tummy was like mm -hmm. before, before the baby. So now you're just returning to, to factory okay. settings. So what happens with now old age? So old age, I feel, is a natural progression. It's not like um, giving birth where you decide whether or not you're going to have a baby. You understand? Because you can decide whether you're going to have a baby or not. But you can't decide whether you're going to grow old or not. Yeah, but so I feel like now for that one, I, I'm, I'm not yet grown old, so I don't yet know what I will be feeling about that. But as I speak, eh, I'm so young. Can you manage no, I'm not disputing. <laughs> I, I fit in yeah, S1s. I fit <laughs> <laughs> what does Muna think? I'm curious. I think definitely for plastic surgery, it's all about your aesthetic preferences and also, like you said, restoration. Restoration, yeah. People yeah. used to look a certain way before. You know, we all weighed less before COVID. So, <laughs> so sometimes people are just restoring back to their old self. Their wish picture is themselves yeah. Yeah. a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can't hate yourself if you're looking back to be your own self yeah. but just the previous time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your, your own inspiration, you don't yeah. hate yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So restoration is, I think, so I was really mindless about this subject, <laughs> honestly. I think like Rosette, I thought it was a rich people thing. You have your money um, and you're looking for ways to spend it. <laughs> so what can I spend on? I bought a jacuzzi, I bought a, a helicopter. <laughs> Let me buy so that I look like my money when I wear that cut top. Mm -hmm. I am, you know. Um, but I guess my mind, I'm evolving over time and thinking, okay, I guess if you are unhappy or if you want to restore what you look like, I particularly like that it's a, a, an intervention available for, for example, war victims or people who have gone through fires, they've been burnt mm -hmm. by fire or people who have like cleft lips or reconstructive and restoration surgery, mm -hmm. I think that it's great that there's hope for people like that. Because I think sometimes I look at people maybe who've been born with deformities and I'm like, I wonder how that must feel, you know? And we know that surgery costs money. This particular surgery that we're talking about is quite costly. So I look at people who obviously can't afford it and I'm like, I don't know what it would feel like to be born in a body like that, mm -hmm. where day in, day out, yeah you are walking with this deformity either on your face or on your leg or on your body and there is no intervention. Mm -hmm. So there's the intervention but then there's the cost aspect. So I quite like that there's an intervention for people like that yeah. and should anything happen to me, yeah. I don't know yet if I'm in the bracket of people who can afford it, I will come and fundraise here. And <laughs> car wash. We do a car wash. A car wash. Please let us get Rachel right back to her original, <laughs> her original yes. self. Yeah, so I'm really still in that car mindless. Uh, mm, I don't really care much for it, to yeah. be honest. Anyway, that brings me to my next question, ladies. Mm -hmm. Would you consider changing your appearance, whether it's your face or your body, and I am also asking if you have actually done something yeah. about your appearance. And I feel like we should start with Ange. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's been too quiet. She's, yes. <laughs> um, would I consider to do anything to my body right now? The answer would be no. Oh. Have I done something? Yes. And maybe that's the reason that I wouldn't consider at the moment because okay. the... All these things you watch on telly, how the surgery goes, ETC, mm. nobody tells you the hard facts or the stories behind the stories. Mm. I had a really good operation. I was very young, in my 20s, almost 20 years, yeah, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I had a breast reduction, which um, they considered more reconstructive rather than cosmetic because mm. I had crossed over to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, oh. double H. What? Yeah. And uh, the, the, the skeleton remains sm small, but you know, the, 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 the boobs just, yeah, kept, just growing. kept growing. Yeah. And they told me if I breastfeed that, you know, that they will become smaller, mm. which I did because I breastfeed my children to two years, two and a half years. And they just kept getting bigger, bigger. and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But because I'm an, I'm, I'm an artist, I was very good at hiding mm. them. But um, so I, we promised that, you know, if I, 
this year I would be able to go get them done. And when I got there, I went for those safaris in South Africa. Mm. And when I got there, I remember Dr. Pillay telling me, you don't really need this, you know, because yeah, I was like, oh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. And most plastic surgeons, when you go to them, they're always looking for the extra something to add. Mm -hmm. You go for your boobs, they're like, yes. but don't you think you know? No, sir. <laughs> but he was a lovely gentleman. He asked me, why would you do this? First of yeah. all, are you sure that you're done having children? And I said, yes. He said, 25 is a really young age to be mm. doing something like this, 24, 25. I said, no, we have planned for this and, and I really want to do this because by then I'd started getting your those back. headaches that come through your spine, ah. like migraines. So I, I take off my clothes. And it's like, you poor child. Mm. Because unlike most people, that if your breasts start, this wasn't even about the sagging, my breasts never lost volume. They were heavy. They were heavy. They were big, you know. And, and of course, my person had absolutely, absolutely no problem with them. But mm. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. No man has a problem. Uh, no man, there are men that do. But you'd always tell me, they still look great. You know how to rock them. And then you're young. They're big. But I knew how to mm. rock them. Yeah, to rock them. But I, I, what I realized is that they were not stopping to grow. Yeah. They just they kept, kept growing. growing. Yeah. So um, I forget the medical term, but do you see like elephantiasis? Yeah. Yes. So I had got mammalia, something mm. like that. So like my breasts were the second largest breast that they had done in, 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 in by then. Yes, Santon Clinic. So um, wow. I got in and, and I did it. And when I look wow. back, even whilst I was there, I was like, what you see on telly, guys, is very so different. So different. Because yeah. I woke up and, am I supposed to scare people? No, no you're sharing your experience. experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's scary, but I mean, the end result is worth it. But mm. I woke up with tubes coming out of my breast. Yeah. There's a pump um, under my feet, you know, not to ensure you don't get blood clots. Mm. Then I had my morphine. Thank heavens for that. You know, you just press it and it comes through. Mm. Of course, the telly is in the ceiling. And of course, unlike Ugandan hospitals, you, I didn't need any care because they were taking mm. really good care of you. Yeah, so you don't need by jaja ba and you still can get free love of tea. Yeah, bien da. So um, they checked and then they did of course the scans and everything and he said there wasn't an ounce of fat. Really? It was oh. mammalian gland. Oh. Completely and also. So it wasn't like if I if I went jogging that I'd lose any That you'd lose you know, it. That that wasn't happening. And and generally I'm a small framed person. Mm. So with this girl, of course when guys would see you walking around, they're like, Oh my gosh, she looks great, mm. like you know, Dolly Patton or whatever. Mm. But I knew what was going on inside. Yeah. So they removed about three point five kilos from my breast area that's like a, 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 a baby a, a that's a whole baby. baby yes yeah and um they, yeah mm. they took really good care of me and then of course when i got out of the hospital i flew to cape town they take care of you on the plane as well it was really that's good nice mm. and then of course i started getting better then of course you lose sensitivity oh, oh. Yeah. so here you are with these really nice boobs that feel nothing Oh. For a while though. Yeah, for a while. For a while, yes, for a while. Yeah, okay. like for, and remember I was young. Yes. So uh, our recovery time is, is, is faster. Faster, but yeah. I can assure sure. you. Yeah, but, but 40 year olds should not. Yeah, because there's a big difference between enhancement and then a small reduction. Yeah. Mine Those was, was a, a big, big reduction. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I didn't know where my nipple was. Mm. That is, I think, why I think to this side. <laughs> But you see, the nerves have been redirected. Yeah. True. But then, of course, with time, the, the, the nipple goes back into its black. Mm. And then, and then, and then, <laughs> and then you never have to wear a bra again. Ah. Yeah. You see how he yeah. is? That makes us yeah. super yeah. So just, it, it's important to prepare yourself. Yeah. But then, yeah. 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 So I, 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 I want to go next because. I want to go next. Um, <laughs> I, 
I remember when we did this show last, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no reason why you should change your body. And if you change your body, the body that God has given you, what if the surgery goes wrong and then you have to learn to like this interesting body that you're in now. I feel like I am evolving, okay. mostly because I've been hanging out with these, <laughs> these ladies here. They Show talk about, <laughs> right? <laughs> they talk about plastic surgery a lot that i'm thinking hmm there's, there's no harm in it yeah. per se sure. i mean if you can afford it yeah. please go ahead and do the surgery so i'm not entirely opposed to plastic surgery mm-hmm. as i was okay. so how many years i think it was two years ago when we talked consider. about it yeah. yes absolutely Why it is something I, co- I would consider and i think the part of my body that i would do something about is my tummy yeah. i am most insecure about my tummy i know people are going to come at me in the comment oh my gosh you're so small what yeah. can you say i get that but my tummy compared to my size are not commensurate yeah. oh yes yeah. Yeah. they are not oh. believe me i'm the one who looks at the mirror and <laughs> and I, and maybe, the yeah. you're the one yes the yes and maybe like rage like uh, angie maybe you just know how to dress yourself. i know how to dress and now so that's that what people i have don't resorted see. to i love shift dresses okay. because i don't have to tuck in my tummy i love okay. dresses like this so i try as much as possible to cover so if there is a world in which i could afford surgery that is the part of my body that i would change the other part is my boobs and I think back to what uh, Manuela was saying, just back to factory settings. I've always had a big bust. Yeah. And now after breastfeeding, it's a big bust that fail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So just to, to, to yeah. lift. Pick them yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Something I would consider. Yeah. I've actually yeah. been with you when we are brush shopping. Yes. And usually the ladies are like, they they get exasperated with Rachel yeah. Yeah. because they're just like, yeah. how are but you? How are you a? <laughs> how? Yeah. I was just such a small yeah. body. Small yeah. body. Yeah, like large small breasts. body, large breasts. Yeah. 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 Ever had back issues? Have you ever? No, but now I do. I have. Mm. Yeah, I struggle with back pain, but I don't know if it's because of my boobs. Maybe partly sitting po- sitting posture, well. but it probably has something to do with mm-hmm. the girls. And then of course at that time of the month. You know that time of the month when you're nearing, so PMS, when you're nearing your period, I do get, my boobs grow like a half a size bigger and they, are, they ache. Yeah. So that season is, I'm not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That's every month. That's yeah, every that's month. every month. For those of you who have guessed that it's me, you are almost right, but not correct. <laughs> almost done. I don't know if by the time this show comes out, I might have. I'm not too sure. Know. I'm not too sure. You are doing financially. No, 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 no. This one, I, this one, I said I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. But I don't know when this show will air. I might be I'm there. Right. Be, Healing. Yeah. So <laughs> check on me. Yeah. Check on me. So my brother, how are you? You've seen that show. Uh, how are you? How, how are you in the bed? Are you? <laughs> are you in the just ask, just know that it is. So have I considered absolutely, absolutely. and yeah. I've said that like yeah. over and over again, mm. and I've shared the reason it is to restore to factory settings, settings. Mm. Uh, because that's the body that I know. Yeah, that's the body that I like. I I I hate that when I want to run with my kids. You have to. I have to think about my breast situation. Mm. If they are not big at mm. all, but when you are running, you feel this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The size as long matters. as gravity yeah. has uh, has assisted you, as yeah. long as you are, and then you try to run. You know, you're in that gym. You will feel it. Mm. Your child is running after, and you want to, You have to be wearing. A but sports don't you, bra. Don't, don't you still need compression, a yes. bra, even if you've had your boobs done. But they're not painful and they're not jumping they're and not they're not jumping. and you're not there going in secret to so so cut them in because yeah. they came out of your <laughs> bra. You understand what I mean? Like I I I, I just want to I want to leave because I ran before. I was a runner. Yeah. I was a swimmer. Sports, yeah. I was a yeah. sports person. And high jump, and you see me here. Hmm. Long jump. I really enjoyed the sport. I would play football. But now I'm like, my boobs might fall out. Like they, I'll be trying to <laughs> be put them in. Yeah, and I'll do it at will when you want. You just start running. At will, you, you know, you're not thinking about it. So I think that's the body that i know that's the body i remember that's the body i enjoyed you know when you when you wake up in the morning and you're just like 
what's next that's yeah. that that's yeah, that yeah, time yeah, i yeah. remember so well mm. and i i feel that if this is what's holding me back Why not? What to living it? my life your best life my best life mm. or even your to my life. full yeah. potential like for me then it's the, what am i able to do i'm able to swim but when, whenever it comes to time for swimming I see Brian, I know Brian has no, for me, then he has no problem. You go in with his shorts, stomach, yeah. with his shorts, yeah. and he enters. You have to say the stomach. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to say it. <laughs> Where? No, I, I, I just being yeah. honest. Yeah. And I can't collect confidence and I put it and I swallow it mm. like a pill. I can't. But him, I see him, yeah. he's like, ask them, we're going with the kids. Meanwhile, I have the swimming costumes. Don't be deceived. Mm. But I'm just like, they are so for now the I, original body. Uh -huh. yeah. When I bought, when I buy <laughs> clothes, when I've, you've said it so well, mm. Rachel. When I buy clothes, when I buy costumes, I'm buying for that body. That body yeah. For me, I, not I will consider, I will probably well, be. I'm not, I'm, I am in it. Actually, the only thing that's holding me back is I was putting my money, money together. Together. Yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, because this has to be money which is quote-unquote extra. Like when we had the conversation with Brian, it has to be you know, like the like when you are doing and then you had like some 200 shillings from tomatoes, so you put it aside. <laughs> then you found 1,000 there, there, then you put it on the side because it's it's not such a priority True. for us, but it's important to me. Yeah. So we, we and, and I have queried. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That I is why by the time this show airs, we don't know where yeah, we are going to be. Yeah. So yeah. Now, for me now, it's just a matter <laughs> of where. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. it. I totally understand. A lot of my patients have gone through this journey mm -hmm. of restoring back to their old selves. And afterwards, they're so happy. They say they feel more like themselves. Oh, yeah. This is the me that I envision and I yeah. dream about. Yeah. And they have that freedom to do more things, yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. You dress up. Do you need to check in the mirror? No, I know yeah. it looks good. <laughs> you don't need to breathe in. You don't need to check. When you're taking a picture. Yeah. No. So yeah. it brings yeah. you of us breathing to oh. take a picture. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. It gives us yeah. freedom. There, yeah. Yeah. Comment section. We are there breathing in. Yeah. Why? For the ladies that haven't yet had children and breastfed, mm. enjoy those enjoy clothes. Hey. Hey. <laughs> because some of us that have breastfed, you know that joke where they tell you throw the boob when and the child is breastfed. Let uh. them breastfeed at the back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and I'm almost like Rachel, mm. like guys. But Tummy tuck, can't you work? Work out, yes. That's your zit. So, how's that? How's that? You can give us the exercises. I even told them what to do. I'm sure that's what to do. Is the tummy going? Is it? It's not going. So, honestly. I remember that so much. I remember. She told us to work out. Stop being lazy. Mm. I will. As if you can work out the boobs. But anyway, yeah. I'm speaking about the tummy mm. mm -hmm. But yeah, you can't. Like, it can't fully go away the mm. way you might have one. Especially when you have the kids. You, you, ha you have to reconstruct mm. for you to get that, that body. Oh my God, I remember my 20 year old I was. I was. I was mm. You were something. But yeah, <laughs> um, I, I can now. Consider. I mm. can now consider because I've tried so the exercises. Mm. And it's, it's, it's not working. Mm. Which one? So which one would you consider? I would consider a tummy tuck. Tummy tuck. Mm. I would actually still consider reconstruction of the boobs. Okay. If I'm not doing reaction, re I would be reaction. Or lift a breast lift. Just to back up what you're saying, it's true. There's certain things the gym can't do. I used to be a sprinter, runner anyway, mm. but um, the gym cannot get rid of loose skin. Yeah. The gym cannot grow hips. You have to yeah. put them there. That's true. Hold on, there's, they, they, there's surgery for hips. Yeah. To add hips, fat transfer. You just yeah. take it from your stomach, put it in your hips. Mm. Um, you can grow your glutes in the gym to a certain degree, yes, yes, yes. but not if you want to shelf. <laughs> I hear you. So yeah. there's certain things the gym can do and certain things the gym cannot. Like yeah. loose skin yeah, yeah, yeah. is not going anywhere. Exactly. Even for post-bariatric weight loss surgery patients, mm -hmm. they do something to the stomach, so now all the weight drops off and they have loose skin everywhere. Oh, yeah. So they have to tighten it. Mm -hmm. You use devices like argon plasma for tightening, J plasma, yeah. and the surgeon has to cut off the loose skin. Mm. 
It's yeah. the only way to get rid of it. Yeah, that's the loose yeah. skin that has actually taken about. Interesting. Yeah. The one surgery, cosmetic surgery, that I always knew for sure that I was going to have was to have a boob lift. That I have always known, even before I had children. Mm -hmm. I knew right from my 20s, my teens. And why mostly? Because, again, and this is, these are things people don't tell you. When you're growing up, they assume that every child has, every girl grows into packy boobs. Yeah. I used to compare with my sister, my younger sister, and her boobs were like really up and lifted and nicely packy. Yeah. Mine were packy for that age, but they had like a little sag in them. Mm. You know, they looked more natural. My sisters look like Baywatch. Like those girls on Baywatch. Like she had already done some kind of surgery. Like they were just too perfect. And mine were, yeah, they were great. But uh, when I looked at her, I was like, I really love that. And when I would look at breasts, so I don't know why I just love boobs. I don't even know what it is. It's an I love preference. boobs. I like to look even at women's boobs. I like to see boobs. I like to touch my boobs. Then when I gave birth, I always said, you know what? I really need to do this surgery. I need to do this surgery. But it wasn't at the front of my mind. Mm -hmm. when, I 20, uh, when I was 28 years old, when I was 28 years old, so this happened when I, was, when I traveled, when I, went up, when I was abroad for to study, I went and saw a uh, plastic surgeon. Mm -hmm. To us, just to get information. Consultation. Yeah, consultation. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Important. consultation. So I asked, um, I, I would like to have this done. What are my options? What can I do? So they gave me like the full layout, real medical view. And, but me, my concern was how much will it cost me? Yeah, yeah. But because for me already, I, I've, I've been practicing financial management for a very long time. Mm -hmm. When she told me the amount that I needed, when I established all my financial goals at the time and the income that I was earning then, it would take me up to 10 years to save. To save. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I was okay with it. So for me, I didn't have those problems of I don't like the way I look, I'm not confident. I was confident, I was doing whatever I wanted. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't care, I didn't have, I, I was never restricted by the, the sag of my boobs after I had had a baby. I was never, nothing else about my body really changed that much, it was mostly the breast. But I was, I, I didn't care much for it. I was like, yeah, 10 years, yeah, I'll work towards it. And, and, and so I was 28 at the time, so my goal in my mind was to make sure I have a breast lift before I am 40 years old. Um. And yes, end 2021, I did get she my boob And I'll tell you that it is one of the top three best adult decisions you have I ever, ever made. made in my entire life. Wow. And me, I, I'm always yeah. making logical decisions to be better about to do one, but this mm. one I felt was for, for me. You. For you, yeah. For me, and it improved so many other aspects of my life. Mm. And one of the reasons why I actually wanted to do it was because that, that the clothes I like to wear over the weekend, I don't like bras. Like, I, I, I don't mind wearing a bra, but I want to take it off. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind bras so much, but the type of clothes I wanted to wear over the weekend. Well, the ones that, you know, where the bra shouldn't show, mood, or yeah. exposing my bra. So I didn't like, that's the one part, like, I was like, I don't like that. But now I walk around you guys, my man, my partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my partner. Like because this, the primary beneficiary of the br breast lift was me. Always me. I didn't care about yeah. anything else. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the partner I'm seeing now, was with me before the surgery. Yeah, he yeah. nursed me through my post-surgery. Oh, and I see the thirst. Yeah. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, and yeah, when I look in the mirror, I look at myself and I let me I like to look at the mirror. I look at the mirror and I'm like, that's a beautiful made woman. Yeah. You're beautiful. Yeah. Those are yeah. lovely breasts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for me it's like I'm like wow I'm, I just walk around and I'm like when someone does something wrong to me I'm like but do you have my breast <laughs> yeah. in my mind in my mind <laughs> as in as in toy natural number because even before even before I did toy natural number but now acceleration and I actually did mine here in Uganda and I know many questions are going to come up about who did it, where did you go, how much did it cost, but I just want to assure you, I'm not, I, I don't want to have the conversation now because we want to have a medical yes. uh, a plastic surgeon yeah. Yeah. on this show in the very, 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 very near future, yeah. right? So uh, my, mine was done by a doctor called Dr. Viriwa. He's uh, a plastic surgeon trained in California, mm -hmm. but right now established in Mombasa. But he would come, he comes to Uganda, he's Ugandan. Yeah. So he comes to Uganda often to do these surgeries. I, and Manuela is actually the one who took me. I didn't call me and took me. So, yeah. so, so we had just done the show where she had told we us. We had just done the show. <laughs> 
so I called you <laughs> because you were the only one that Angie had finished. You were the only, only ones in I Rachel, want. Rachel was like, I Rachel can never want do it. <laughs> so you are the only one yeah. who was like me, I want to do. So what two of us? It was just the two of us. And they told me about the plastic surgeon. I called Pumo. Yeah, I said, Manuela Pumo. called me. <laughs> 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 they were, we go. We <laughs> 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 we drove. Yeah. <laughs> to see the surgeon. Me let me call you, Miss. Actually, I think you stopped there. <laughs> now, 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 let me enter that. Let me enter your plastic surgery. <laughs> now we drive very well. Zoo, pack, pack. Enter to see that doctor. Very yeah. good man. Very kind. Very nice. Undress us. Remove your. Yes. Pure. Yeah. Undress us. It's very. It's very. It's a. We of course are female. No, of course, a female yeah, nurse. There's and then always they kind a female of, nurse. Then they kind of cover call you as if a certain yeah, way. Yeah, they like, cover you, but... Uh, so here, we shall remove this part yes, and lift it up. You're yes, like, yes. those are my privates. Yeah. My mother said nobody is doing throwing your boobs. Is there throwing your boobs? Yeah. Like, for him, to show you what needs to be done. Hey, <laughs> we need to pull it in like this. You see when it's in like this? But for him, he's so serious. Yeah. You, you're there feeling... Like, oh my God. Turn around. Turn around. Okay, now, okay. Then see the picture. Do you see here your, bo your bum? So your bum mm -hmm. is not full. Yeah. Okay? It's, yeah. You think it's, it's sag, sag on this side? There's a yes. sag here. We need to push So we need thing. to lift it like, Nga, you're seeing yourself. Nga, you've never seen yourself like. <laughs> yeah. And so he kind of like shares with you. But I know, also remember that he asked things like, you know, what's your, like, what do you want? Yes. And whatever. We enter, we get our bills. This one comes out. She entered before me. So she entered, came out, she said, oh, this is my bill. I also went in. But I said, Poo. Paid my first half installment. I said, you <laughs> yeah. so fast. They told us that you have to get three. Uh, don't you know that principle of no. three suppliers? Yes. Uh, you work in the back. Been different you are supposed to get different quotations. I've just shown you one. She said, no, 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 no. I've seen Let me wire. He's good. Yeah. He's wired. He wired immediately. Uh, and he was leaving for Mombasa. Like yes, and, week. and she wanted I it said, done. You, you are and going, going to see me before you leave. Uh -huh. Serious. Spirit. So now, no. let me put you in for what happened. So we sit down. So when I come out, I come out with my bill. So when I come out with my bill and she tells me she has paid her, 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 her half. Her As in they've scheduled her appointment. So she's like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So for you. So I remember at that time. <laughs> I remember at that time. And I will never forget your sentence. What you said to me. And I found out you paid your bill. Then you asked me what's your bill. And then I told you it's the price of the car I want to buy. <laughs> Actually, be, because I went in fast for my bill, by the time I came out, I found her on the table like this, scrolling through pictures. Her husband had called her. She was looking at pictures of cars. Oh, yeah. Pictures like, yeah. So she found herself between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Oh, now the money they've told me is exactly the money the of my car that I've been saving for. Mm. Then uh -huh. I've been saving. <laughs> I've been really saving. So I've been there sitting there. What is a what is a what? what is what a nice boobs on a boda boda? <laughs> For sure. What How can, can you be there with nice packages? Huh? What are you doing? Let's you yeah. go buy the car. For surgery. Friends, like, we walked out. I walked out with the car. With your walked new out financial out plan. <laughs> A lovely car as well. Yeah. 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 Because the way you save for that car. Yeah. It's the same way you can save for that breast. Yes. Yeah, and, she's, and she's almost there. Yeah. So I, I feel... Hey. I've reached. Oh, you have reached? Hey, okay. Yeah. That's what I've said. Hey, by that time. Mm, okay. Small, small issues yeah. to small, small issues. put together. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, quick reminder that this is actually surgery. I know that we sort of emphasized yeah. mm -hmm. the fact that this is actually surgery and that you need to be prepared going in. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get into that, Muna has yes. actually done surgery as well. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could tell us a yeah, bit about that. Sure. So, I myself, after COVID-19, you know, the gyms were closed. We weren't allowed to work out. We're stuck in the house. Suffering just. <laughs> <laughs> so I gained some weight in. I have my own company, Surgical Match Health Travel. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my patients have gone to do many types of surgery, okay. whether it's plastic, mm -hmm. cancer, organ transplant. Mm -hmm. I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go get my liposuction as well. Uh -huh. So 
Basically, 360 liposuction is when they suck out the fat from the front of your stomach, the side the flanks, side and the and back. The back. Even yes. that raw roll, you know when? when yes, the that funny. Yeah. It's gone. It becomes just tight and going Ooh, inside like nice. that. So it was just a treat to myself after working hard during COVID, yes. you know. And it was more like a restoration anyway, because I used to run, play sports, you mm. know. So I just went back to my track days. <laughs> yes. It was nice. It was a yeah. good experience. Um, I'm an expert for surgery aftercare. Yeah. So of course my team was helping me. We knew what to do. Mm -hmm. So it was a very smooth recovery. Mm -hmm. When you pay attention to good pre, during, and, and post, post care. Because yeah. mm -hmm. in the surgery room, sometimes the doctor will blow it up on the screen. Like, we remember, this is the shape she wants. So they blow it up. If you give them a wish pic, it'll be uh, posted in the surgery room, and he'll go towards that picture. But it's so nice. I love it when my patients bring themselves. This oh, is me before. Okay. Yeah. Just bring me back. Bring, yeah. me back. bring me back. So these people don't bring hate themselves. Back. Yeah. Bring me back. I miss the girl. <laughs> yeah, these, these people do not hate themselves. Their inspiration is themselves. Yeah. It's totally fine. So yeah. we understand that healthy space, they're healthy. Mm. Surgery, plastic surgery is only for healthy people. If you're not healthy, okay. you're not eligible anyway. Yeah. 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 So, and it's okay. not always done under general anesthesia. Mm. Sometimes it's local anesthesia. Mm. You can do some things without fully going under so the risks are even lower. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some, a lot of African or African-American women from America mm. come to Turkey for like hair transplant, because mm. all those yeah. perms took out their hair. Yeah. That's yeah. local anesthesia, you're awake. Yeah. Certain things you can change without going through a big surgery process. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. arm yeah. liposuction. Yeah, like edges. Like if you yeah your arm. edges can be completely mm. full again. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I would consider that. But yeah, or you would. No, they are not. See now they are moving. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, like, like the structure, alopecia, whatever that mm. is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you know what I love about the hair transplant? Yeah. After we do the hair transplant, I have patients who did it two years ago. Now the hair is full and they went natural because they're like, now I can enjoy my hair. Yeah. Oh, my own nice. natural yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not wearing like weave anymore because yeah. they're like, I, now I can rock my yeah. hair. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Muna, maybe, maybe because I know that our viewers might have, want to go back to themselves or have yeah. some reconstruction done. Mm. Like, like this, could you talk about the different types of surgeries, yeah. surgeries okay. that can be done yeah. and maybe you could just go from head mm, to good. toe yeah, so to we are toe. not missing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I got you. Mm. Yeah. So, number one thing that Afro or African or African American women ask me for is about hair transplant. Mm. And there are doctors now in Turkey literally specifically focusing on it because it's more difficult. Yeah. Oh. But they have become experts. Even, you know, Akon the singer, he talked about how he went to Turkey to restore his hairline. Oh. Yes. I, I even know his doctor yeah. so wow. hair transplant starts here mm -hmm. then um, some people as they age they get loose skin around their the eyes eye. or the bags yeah. mm -hmm. children don't have that you yeah. didn't have that before so sometimes the doctors do temporal lift okay. or you know reposition the fat that's starting to collect under the eye yeah. okay. it's minor actually that can take 15 minutes local anesthesia again it's oh. not surgery yeah. for the upper eyelid yeah. okay then people, actually most Africans have very nice uh, cheekbones. Yeah. Yeah. So it's usually my European patients who want to have this the cheekbone cheek stuff. Yeah. Um, when the cheeks are fat, uh, buccal fat removal is to get rid of the fat in the cheek. Mm. Again, it doesn't have to be surgery. They just take it out from the inside. Yeah. Stitch, heal, wow. use a mouthwash antibacterial for a few days and it's done. Now yeah. you have cheeks like that. Ah. They do um, liposuction for double chin yes. and to make it tight and nice yeah. like this. Of course, breast work. Oh, oh there's also nose and oh, lips. Yeah, nose. Mm. Yeah. nose and lips are big. You can either put filler in your lips. Fat is permanent. Wherever you put fat in your body, it will a, stay. A, yeah. a certain amount dies off, but it's a permanent thing. Oh. So some women are using fat instead so they don't have to keep filling. Mm. But again, those are more the European patients. Yeah. And then the nose, some people do that just for symmetry. Yeah. That's another thing. Some people think if you do a nose job, you're trying to look like another race. Mm. Or actually, sometimes it's just about symmetry. Yeah. The distance of the eyes, it's scientific, distance of the eyes to nose to mouth, the shape of your face. So sometimes when they change the nose, it just brings, the, it brings your eyes out more because it's less distracting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's not this old, this old Michael Jackson thing. That's, yeah. that's old, that's past, it's yeah. Right. That's not the reason anymore. Yeah. 
Then they do breast um, augmentation is to make it bigger, mm. lift and reduction is to make it smaller and higher. Mm. A lot of women like to do arm the liposuction arms, yeah. and tightening to make mm. it arm smaller again. Liposuction around the waist means mm. to remove the fat all around, anywhere, upper back, everywhere. Um, one thing that's quite pop popular and maybe a bit controversial mm -hmm. is the Brazilian butt lift, the BBL. Yeah. So once yes. they've done the lipo around your stomach, they ask you, where do you want to put it? Ah. <laughs> you can put the fat. Yeah. yeah. The butt. You can put it in the butt, you can put it in the hip, you can put it in the breast, you can put it in the face to make yeah. those cheeks if you don't have them. Yeah. So um, again, with that, it's possible to do it in a safe way. I've mm -hmm. never had a patient who, you know, had a, something issues. bad happen yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. It's just that your doctor needs to be very good and take mm -hmm. extra precautions. Mm -hmm. One of the risks is a blood clot. So what do you do? You take blood clot thinner yeah. if your blood levels thinner. are high enough to take it, yeah. heparin, Lovenox. So you won't have as much risk for developing a blood clot if you're taking blood clot dissolver, yeah. even from the first day. Yeah. There are ways to do it safely, yeah. more safely, yeah. okay? Yeah. A tummy tuck is when you um, get rid of the loose skin. You might have to cut some of it off and the doctor pulls it down tight. Mm -hmm. Of course, he has to know exactly how much tension to use. So it's not too tight, not too not loose. Too loose. Yeah. That takes experience. Yeah. I, like, I don't like young doctors. Yeah. You need to have gray hair. You need to have experience. <laughs> For I me, like that. You need I don't want... Hair. My dad I is a know, very much I older see. doctor. I'm yeah. like, you need to have done this hundreds Multiple of times before times. you touch yeah. me. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that makes yeah. so much sense. Yeah. And good training, and you should be board certified. Like my doctors, a lot of them in Turkey are European board certified. They went mm. to Brussels to do an exam. Mm. The Turkish medical system is based on the German system too. Mm. And since I worked with surgeons at like Harvard University, I always compare the hospital standards between them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I've seen perfect standards. Yeah. So I, you know, continue my knowledge there. Now we were going downwards. Mm -hmm. um, for the thighs, a lot of girls, they like to do liposuction on the thighs. Yeah. Although I like bigger thighs, like thick thighs. <laughs> thick thighs <laughs> save <laughs> lives. <laughs> thick lives matter. Yeah. Thick yeah. lives matter. Yeah. I like thick thighs, yeah. so you know. It's but again. Exactly. Yeah. People are free to do what they want. Yeah. They're artists of their own body. And then lastly, I'm actually getting a lot of women who wear high heels too much. Mm -hmm. So we have to do bunion correction, toe shortening, mm -hmm. toe lengthening, mm -hmm. surgery. And then you just wear a boot. After the first day, you can actually still walk. Oh, so really? we fix all the toes and make them pretty. If you, oh, wow. Wow. yes, interesting. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, oh, this one. Okay, this one. Actually, I have such a good professor for that. He trains the other doctors on how to do it. He leads like conferences on how to do it properly. Mm. He's a surgeon, but also a GYN doctor. Mm. Mm. So he, um, if you want to do that, don't go to just a plastic surgeon. Yeah, so go to a GYN. GYN, GYN, GYN plus. Yeah. Get someone who's double. Yeah. Because aesthetics, yeah, but yeah. also yeah. the tension must be proper. Tension, yeah. Plastic surgeons are more concerned about, let's sure. say, looks, but you want this combo. Mm. And um, I, so many patients for that. Literally, yeah. even I yesterday, they asked it. Really? A lot. That so mostly African, African. African and it's actually, I've had a lot of African patients, European mm. patients, American. But the thing is, the recovery is easier than some of the other surgeries, like mm. the breast and stuff. It's yeah. not as hard recovery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some okay. people don't even sleep in the hospital that night. They could go. Okay. And two days later, we're taking them on an Istanbul tour. They can walk around. Yeah. Just oh. ice the first it's day. It's the vagina. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's, it's been magical. through. It's been through. Oh. <laughs> but it's life changing. I've yes. had daughters come, and then yes. the mom comes after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. The friends come. That one is a fast referral surgery. Uh, it's very popular. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've never imagine. done it. Yeah. Yes. I can with, with good it's reason. Life changing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the big um, consideration that we haven't tackled is cost. Yeah. And I want you to break it down for us in as much as what someone needs to plan for or save for. Right. Pumila talked about saving for 10 years. How much money is that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Give us ranges. Um, All yeah. right. First, I will tell you the main four or five things you need to save for. Number one, mm -hmm. the actual surgery. Number two, the hotel, although that's usually in the surgery package. Yeah. Number three, I always encourage people to get insurance. And it can be just $160. Mm -hmm. And that insurance covers you for any complications for the next six months. They pay towards a ticket to bring a companion. Yeah. To bring, so insurance is always very good to have. 
-hmm. Another thing is, actually, sometimes people come for surgery, mm -hmm. and in the pre-op check, they're like, you have other problems. You have fibroids or you have a hernia. Yeah. Do you want us to take care of that as well? Got it. So yeah. sometimes people are like, oh, I only bought money for the surgery, so now you're going to have to have two. Yeah. So just in case you have something else, bring something cushion. Mm -hmm. And um, just for incidentals. Yeah. But mm -hmm. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Now, the cost ranges. In America, um, the surgery is, of course, more expensive. I'm gonna use breast surgery as an example, yeah. all right? In America, it could be anything from 5,000 to 10,000 US dollars. Mm -hmm. um, in Turkey though, with the same implant type, like Mentor Silicone, very popular, mm -hmm. or Mativa, popular, most popular in Europe. In Turkey, it could be anything from 2,000 to 4,000 oh. US dollars oh, okay. for breast surgery. Okay. Um, another example could be and in Asia, it's also close to Turkey as well. Okay, okay. Turkey and India are quite similar in prices, but some things in Turkey are now cheaper, but yeah. good quality, which yeah. is why a lot of people are flocking there right now. Okay. Turkey. Turkey. Mm. Yes. It's the technology, because it's yeah. like, you know, it's like a European hospital, yeah. but the Turkish lira is a little bit lower, mm. so it's a more manageable trip. Yeah. And you get beautiful results. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So about for cost, for cost, for cost, why I don't like to share cost is because I bought a bank loan. Rates. Mm. Oh, yeah. that's my real problem. Yeah, uh, but I'll I'll give you a range for just a breast lift in you got in millions of shillings. Mm. Prepare because again, please remember that my breast is already yeah, small. Yeah. Our that. breasts are different. Yeah. She had a different bill. Yeah, she had a different bill from so my one size yeah, because fits my all. my breast was smaller, mm -hmm. so there's not much work to be done. Mm. So in Uganda, your rates just for the breast lift will be about 15 million Uganda shillings mm -hmm. to 25. What's that in US dollars? Divide by 3,700. <laughs> yeah. Okay. About 4,000, about 4, 000, 000, so about 4 5,000, give or take. Yeah. So it's about, yeah. so quite about the same. So that's yeah. about the range. Well, okay. I, 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 but, but when we get the plastic surgeon who worked on me, he'll, be, he'll come to the show very soon mm. and you can ask all those questions. Yeah, and me, absolutely. you can DM me privately. Many people have been asking. There are people who I who know that I had the, the surgery, yeah. mm -hmm. so they've been DMing me, but I always give them that disclaimer. That Absolutely. you know what, for me, mine cost this much, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was a literal, typical bump love rate. Mm. Yes, so, so. and there's four types of breast lifts, anchor, lollipop, there's different types. Some wow. take a surgeon more lollipop. time than others. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I didn't I, even hear about lollipop. I just had yeah. lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> lollipop, anchor lift, where they go underneath. I've, I'm always in the surgery room every week watching yeah. all this stuff. So if the surgeon has to take longer time on you, time, extra time yeah, is extra money. money. So you can't say a general price. A doctor has to evaluate you, and depending on the surgery, length of time, the nurses stay longer, yes. anesthesiologist stays yeah. longer. The doctor should give you actually yeah. the quote. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I also I think I should say that I kind of feel like when you come to things like this, um, one of the things that we like as Ugandans is to bargain. Ah. <laughs> um, can you tell us the disadvantages of bargaining, or of bargaining when it comes to your breasts? Let so me say this. In, general, yeah. in a hospital, if you push your surgeon too much, he'll be like, okay, I will not be paid for my time. I'll do the surgery and maybe a student will assist ah. to close or something. But if you want a perfect scar, it's perfect stitching to close. You want the actual surgeon to do it. Yeah. yeah. Don't push them too much because it's your life. You yeah. Know? yeah. So yeah. some people agree to have students assist with the surgery. To bring the pricing down. Yes. But do really? you want that? I mean, how do plastic surgeons train? I mean, the doctor is supervising. He's there. Yeah. Nothing bad will happen to you. But it's just that the stitching will not be the same as someone I who's done it for 30 that. years. Yeah. But you get your discount. You get your discount. So it's better. That's why I like something like um, in America, um, for the price of the best surgeon, mm -hmm. let's say, versus like a student, for the student rate in Turkey, you get the best surgeon, ah. you know, who's a professor yeah. who's doing it. Yeah. In America, for the same money, you could only get like, you know, someone average. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So we've talked about pre-surgery, we've talked about during cost and all of that. Mm, post. Uh, post yeah surgery which okay. i think is also an, a, a very important aspect of your recovery and and what you eventually look like can you talk to us about that and why you're very passionate about post -op? yes i'm very passionate about post-op because many things you do can affect your results some surgeons say half the healing is on your body 
Uh, I've closed the wound, but based on how you eat, what you do, yes. it can close very well or scar up worse yeah. or better, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So my company, our team usually comes and helps prepare the whole package. Mm -hmm. And our nurses stay with you. In Turkey, you stay the night at the hospital, mm. which is good to continue monitoring vitals. Okay. But we also stay with you, make sure everything is going well, mm -hmm. translating. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to eat the food in the hospital, so we can bring healthy food. Yeah. You have to remember a lot of stuff like not to eat salty food, otherwise you will swell more. Mm. If you've had liposuction, you have to use compression garments. Yeah. Whether it's on your chin or stomach, you wear yeah. compression garments for mm. eight weeks. Oh. Even the quality of the garment, like if you get lipo without wearing a garment, your skin can end up loose. Yeah. Oh. So you must reconnect the uh, skin to the muscle framework yeah. by wearing a garment strong. Yeah. If you have swelling, you must get lymphatic massages. So mm -hmm. my team, we can do, we do the massages to remove the swelling from the body. Mm -hmm. There are other people who do it as well, mm -hmm. but that makes sure that after lipo, you don't get a seroma, like a collection of fluid In that makes your stomach point. look like yeah. lumpy. Yeah. So you need to massage like three times a week, a medical massage yeah. for the first two months. Yeah. So there's a lot of considerations for post-op that affect your result. And the doctor's like, you had to do post-op care. Mm. I just did the surgery. You have a job yeah. to do now. Yeah. And so I really like to stay. Um, we stay with our patients. If you come with us the whole way through the post-op. Even after surgery, you have to encourage people to eat. I don't want to eat, I feel so bad. We're like, no, you need you to drink to two eat. liters of yeah. water. Why? It flushes the anesthesia out of your body the yeah. first day. Yeah. You know the medicine's making you groggy. Yeah. We make you get up and walk every two hours. Yes. Why? It helps prevent blood clot, keep your blood, blood moving. Circulation. So we help them to stand up and encourage. When people are alone, they won't do it. They're yeah. just like, I That's can't get up. I'm not and that okay. reminds me of a story Pumla you were telling us about, about a lady who did her butt and then sat on a plane. Is it that she was not told? Because you're not supposed to, you know. Yeah, you're not supposed you're to. Not you're supposed to sit on a special pillow Stay yes. off of, if you do a fat transfer, mm. you must stay off the fat transfer area for six to eight weeks. So there's a special yes. pillow they give you to sit on, but some places they just do it and you have to figure that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So how do you get She was doing it for, for pricing because she traveled from here mm -hmm. and then now they're telling her six to eight weeks today and she can't afford the accommodation yeah. Yeah. of six to eight weeks. She didn't she plan for the accommodation. She didn't plan for she didn't that. Um, yeah. I think she didn't get enough information. But the thing is, if you have a surgery, okay, you I think can leave she did. after a week. <laughs> she did, she did. But she said, I'll wing it. We'll see, and she oh got no. problems. She got you really can, bad problems. If after. you have a surgery, you stay only for one week in the country, the place you got the surgery. Mm. Then you can go home and continue I your care. I think you know how the problem was that pillow, that thing of when she was on the plane, because it was a long flight. Uh, she was should have used the pillow. I, yeah, even, I think she didn't have that pillow. Yes. I tell my girls sometimes when the seatbelt light is off, Put the pillow on the floor and go on your knees it's easier and just lean on the chair mm. or just sit with the pillow in the chair it's fine or ask them for a seat belt extender you know the one for yeah. bigger people yeah it helps you sit more comfortably in there with, yeah. with the pillow we give them all these tips we even give them a package post-op supplies mm. so you need that faha you know the pillows the neck ones mm. all of them yeah okay. so my oh. question is if they remove you do the 360 yes ooh, transfer the fat into your butt yes okay 360 and liposuction mm -hmm. and they transfer the fat into the butt yes. into your butt where do you sleep you sleep on your stomach on your stomach but you just had a, a, a that's okay that's okay that, that, that you, you sleep on your belly with with the tummy tuck not okay, the tummy the tuck. Sides. If you, you just had, yeah. when you said 360, 360 is lipo, sucking out fat only. Yeah. 360 if you, and if you had a tummy tuck, this is what we do. Oh, tummy, tuck. tummy tuck and BBL, yeah. what we do is we put a pillow underneath here, your legs, mm -hmm. then we roll up another one in your back. So you're suspended in the air somewhat. But we have electric beds that can modify your seating. Mm. Also, we have these blow up chairs for women who want to sit down and work, and the chair has a hole in it. So it's a blow up chair with a hole so you can sit down and you're not affecting your, your bum is, yeah. and you're comfortable sitting back. And how do you travel back home after a week? It's pumped by air so you just take out all the air and then pump it up again at home and you and sit on the, on the plane. Oh, on the plane you sit on the BBL pillow and just sit down. Wow. Sleeping, you support your back with extra pillows and Sleep one under here. No, you sleep laying down, laying down, but we make it comfortable. We have special beds for that yeah. for the first no, place. So when you go home. Essentially, like we get that in 
Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're intact, when you're in things are good. Yeah. That's fine. Or when you like go when home, they're in your care. Yeah. When we we teach, talk about when people have come home. home they're like traveling home. home. They're getting okay. onto the plane after one week. Ah, okay. And then they have come here to Chariwa Jala there. Mm. Uh -huh. On that traffic. That <laughs> that bumpy road. You are there on your new on your new bum. Like it's being second in the hot hole. Actually, let me tell you, people don't you tell you that because I remember when I would go because you'd leave the hospital and then you'd keep having to go for, for check checkups up. and things. Yeah. There are roads in Kampala, you guys. My partner used to literally just have to hold me sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Because just to drive there and you're in that do do do, you have remember these tubes here on you, you feel everything. everything. Like Uganda is not America, it's not Turkey, it's nothing. Yeah. Like actually, this doctor, the surgeon yeah. told me that in Uganda he does not do what she's asking. He said he doesn't do them at the same time. Mm. Yeah. For you to have a tummy tuck and a video because they cannot um, manage the healing mm -hmm. at the same time here. We don't have, you're saying electric bed, we do foam, <laughs> we do pillow. Here we don't have that <laughs> Yeah, we don't have. But you know. That's what I'm going to Mama, mama, mama. My boobs yes. told me that. So. Oh, no. I've actually been talking to Ugandan doctors here, talking about how to set up giving them some of the supplies. So I want to leave some uh, to put an office in Kampala to leave some supplies for people who need it. That would really help. That would be really helpful. Oh, wow. That would be really helpful. And um, they can go and ask questions like, yeah. oh, I'm suffering, I need something to change. Yeah. Some people, like some of my, my Nigerian patients, they stay two weeks instead of one week. Yeah. yeah. And then we have our nurse to come take care of you and do everything yeah. at your hotel. Even. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't say why you were passionate about this. I know that there's oh, a story about there. Post -op. Yeah. Oh. Ah, for post op care, I've had, you know, normal surgery as well. I've had yeah. kidney surgery and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And once I was in such a bad hospital, oh my God. <laughs> it was so bad. I could hear people screaming in the other room. And it was not a good experience. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even sleep there. And I'm so familiar with hospital. At some point, I said I just took out my <laughs> IV and I went home. Because the care was so bad. Mm. No one was there to help you. No one yeah. was there to was do that anything. Here? No, 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 no. It was in here. here. Okay. But, so, so after that. Than here? <laughs> <laughs> There's a hope. I've traveled around the whole yeah. world. I used to live in Asia, America, yeah. everywhere, mm. Middle East. And so, um, my father's a doctor and he's very big on like patient care. Yeah. And so, I always found that when you take care of patients better they recover, they recover better. better and faster yeah. and they're less anxious when they know what's happening next like you need to yeah. make a schedule for so them yeah. I love to make people's experience enjoyable even yeah. though it's for surgery yeah. you know we want to make sure we're on top of their pain management because mm. I remember the pain I felt I want to make sure that they enjoy their time and don't just stay in the hotel we even take them shopping in a wheelchair or whatever oh yeah, yeah because I know that when you are in good spirits positive even your recovery yeah, can be better yeah. you're supposed to give patients pain med before the pain is at maximum yeah. not after yeah. yeah so we like to pace and make sure people are having good time because I remember my bad time that I had for mm. like a health surgery yeah. and um, I want people to have that experience too yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and also be alert and awake like when someone's there to raise your mm. motivation I tell my girls like keep them in good spirits yeah. keep them happy like yeah. oh girl you're looking good you're mm. gonna recover so well mm. And it encourages them to walk, go out. Yeah. That makes them healthier, reduces their blood clot risk, mm. you know. Faster. Keeps yeah. them to eat and drink to raise their strength. Yeah. So I'm really invested in the journeys of people because yeah. I had my own journey myself. Yeah. And I want people to also have a good experience. Yeah. I like that. Mm. I think yeah. that's quite noble. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Muna, for joining yeah. us on this uh, crazy plastic surgery ride. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope that we have given you as much information as you can possibly get mm. where to do the surgery. I feel like for me, the most important thing is why you are doing this surgery. Yeah. 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 So even before you save and consider a hospital or a surgeon, First, look within and find out why you are doing it, and hopefully, it's for the right healthy reasons. Mm -hmm. Remember that you can heal at the Golden Tulip, yeah. our wonderful, wonderful hotel located in the heart of Kampala. Um, you can come by, book a room, and settle here, find your bedside nurse, and heal very well. The Golden Tulip uh, also has a brunch that's available for you every Sunday 90,000 shillings for adults and 60,000 shillings. For children come by and enjoy with your family and your friends that's it from us until next time we love from Buffalo.